everybody Han here and today I'm sitting out on my porch as always drinking my coffee planning my day and boy I've got a lot of projects planned so I'm really excited let's get started the first thing I did is I put this tomato bucket up on the cinder block because it was actually kind of digging down into the clay and I was worried that it wouldn't be able to drain very well because this clay mud does not drain very well <laughs> at all so I just put it up on this cinder block so that it can drain, the excess water can get out, and hopefully have healthy roots. I was able to get this little raised garden bed or garden box, whatever you want to call it, filled with more soil. And I've moved it over just a little bit because this area gets way, 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 way too much moisture. And you know what? That can cause problems too. So, um, yep, I've pulled it over here and now I'm going to plant the seeds. I'm going to start with the spinach and I'm probably putting more holes in here than needed but there's no telling if these cheap seeds are going to sprout so I'm just going to get the seeds in and then we'll do the lettuce. And I put about three in each little hole. I'm just going to kind of cover them up a little bit. And it's raining so I'm trying to do this kind of fast. I might have to wait to do the lettuce. Okay, spinach is planted. It might be really hard for you to see, but these are gonna be planted. This is a lettuce shallower, and I'm making more holes. I mean, I basically made, I think, 18 holes, and it's gonna be for this kind of lettuce, black seeded Simpson. So, let's get these seeds in before it starts pouring down rain. And I've got plenty left for when I harvest, if I want to plant more in between. And I actually put a gazillion seeds in each one. So hopefully, whoop, you probably can't hardly even see down into the bottom. There's one, yep, a gazillion seeds. So maybe a few will sprout, maybe they won't, who knows. Okay, got the spinach and the lettuce planted. Now the spinach is going to take longer to come up than the lettuce. Hopefully something comes up. Um, you know, and the ground, the soil really isn't even that warm yet. It needs to get just a teeny bit warmer. But I think this is a good spot because it's not in full sun all day. So, one project done. It's raining, so I'm out in the shed. And this is another potential project. Uh, this is just siding, plate old plasticky type siding and the two long pieces are the same size and the two short pieces are the same size and um, each panel is eight and a half inches tall so I think I might be able to figure out a way to turn this into a garden bed and then the next project after that is to cut up some of this wood and make more garden boxes so how much am I going to get done? I don't know. It's raining. I'm going to have to either do this in the shed or bring it in inside the tiny cabin. Um, I'd like to get at least one more thing built today. I need to remember to look over there. So I'm going to think this through and figure out if I can get them all done. Well, it is pouring down rain, but you know what? This is great because it is watering my little new uh, spinach and lettuce bed and I don't have to go to the stream to get water. So that is actually a bonus. Yay! I'll tell you what, normally I would be complaining about the rain, but today it is just pretty because it's not blowing wind. And look at that stream down there. It is totally getting swollen again. And you know what? I watch this guy named Luke Fugit. I'll try to remember to put a link to his YouTube channel down below. And he made a water power generator. So that's something that I might be able to look into so that on rainy days like today, where I've got plenty of water flow, I might be able to harvest some energy out of that in lieu of my solar panels that aren't bringing in a whole lot right now. So it's supposed to stop raining in about another 30 minutes. I hope that it will so that I can continue some of these projects. Right now, if I just try and do anything, it's just going to be too wet, really. I've decided to work with this wood. All right, I'm going to build a slightly bigger but a slightly deeper box. So I'm going to start with these four. These are the uh, longest planks that I have. 
and they're not all the same size, but what's going to happen is I'm going to cut all of these, let's get back, cut all these to this size. Now this one I'm probably just going to um, leave that size and let it hang out, you know, a little bit over the edge, but I need to cut these two boards to being this size. Alrighty, and I got a cool gift from somebody. Francie from Finding Joy Through Serving sent me this saw for Christmas, and I tried it out last night, and it works great. I don't know that I'm going to be able to show you um, how I'm going to saw it, because I didn't bring my little stand thingy with me, but trust me, this is going to work. So let me get these pieces sawed, and then on to the next step. And it's done. And not too bad of an edge either. Not that I need perfection. There's a little piece down there, but that's no big deal. And this is just a garden saw, and it is wonderful. I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. I didn't think I was going to be strong enough, but just use short strokes in the beginning, and it just goes right through this wood. So thank you, Francie. All right, let's see what I did. And I even cut the longer one. Um, just cut this little piece off. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it with that saw, but I did. And look at that. I mean, they're pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. So these are going to be the long sides um, stacked on top of each other. Now let me see if I can find four boards for the shorter sides uh, that are relatively the same size and see what kind of garden bed I'm going to make. I need to cut four boards that are the same size and unfortunately I can't use some of these longer ones because they're a different width this way. I mean I could put them on top um, but still I want to use boards that are pretty much the same size. So it looks like the width of this garden bed is going to be this size. This size right here which I think will be plenty um, so I'm just going to have to cut these other three boards to that size. And in case you're wondering, <laughs> since I hate to measure, um, I'm just putting the boards flush with one another and then I'm just making a little line with the saw, sawing it this way a little bit so that I know where I need to cut. Yeah, it's working pretty darn close if I do say mo so myself. I can't believe I did it. This little one right here, that's just an eye in the wood. I think I'll be able to find a way to work around that. And so let's get to building this thing. So to get started, I'm just setting this up like this <laughs> so that it, you know, it'll be easier to get the drills and the nails in and whatnot. So that's how I'm steadying it for now. All right, first level is complete. And I did it the same way, basically. Just I put a couple nails in just to steady it. And then I use three screws, actually I, I use the drywall screws I have on hand, and it works great. It looks just fine, so let me get the other one started. Two boxes built, and this one I struggled with a little bit because this board was not cut straight this way, so it's kind of, kind of weird. There's no way I could have screwed anything in there. I found an old nail and just put it there screwed there, a couple extra nails, and over on this side I drilled it too far and I split the wood, I put an extra couple nails there and another nail there, but it holds and it's sturdy so now I just need to stack them on top of each other and figure out a way to secure them together. Ha! Huh, I forgot these are trunk and groove boards and luckily I got all the tongues and all the grooves in the right spot and they actually fit down into one another pretty good except for a couple spots. Here it's not perfect um, and then down here it's not perfect uh, but still um, yeah, I'm surprised it fits. I thought it was going to be see that fit down there really nice uh, so but that's still not good enough to hold it together so I think what I'm going to do is cut some pieces of wood couple, two, three this way, couple this way, um, and just nail them. Just nail them on it, or screw, or whatever. I found these pieces, just remnants, and you know what, I don't even think I'm going to cut them, 
Uh, I was going to use smaller strips, but I'll just nail them in real good, and I think that'll work. And voila! It is done. I only put two on each of these sides. I almost wish I had put them a little closer together. I may go back and add another one to it. Um, if it looks like it's bowing, I can always, always add it to the outside, maybe. Um, I think this is going to be fine, though. And I left that little hole there, because, you know what, I could use that to, you know, pick it up and move it around and whatnot. So, here it is. Not perfect, but it's actually more perfect than the last one. So, let me get some measurements on this. Looks like about... 62 inches, 62 and a half inches, 5 foot 2 basically by about 27 and a half inches. And the depth is a little bit, about 11 inches. I was hoping I was going to get 12 inches, but that's what she said. I am going to pull this out to a spot. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm just going to put it out by the house for now and decide whether I want to put that mesh on the bottom. And there she is. Now, I don't know if this is going to be where I'm going to keep it because I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in it. And huh, I don't know. It may be, it may need to be in a sunnier area, although this area does get quite a bit of sun. Um, also, this one little spot right here, not only is this little box that I built not completely level, but the ground isn't completely level either. So, see what I mean? Um... So I may end up putting that mesh on the bottom just so I don't lose soil at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I could always put a little bit more wood at the bottom. But I think I am going to put that screen underneath of it. Um, because I've got so many of those boring animals. You know, the, the ones that, uh, you know, dig and dig holes and whatnot. So I don't know. I think I like this. I think I like it a lot. And I'll be able to plant... A whole bunch of stuff in there so I'm gonna think this one through because it's gonna take a lot of soil um, I am gonna take your suggestion and fill it up with you know twigs and leaves and different kind of stuff um, but that's gonna come another day I am exhausted and I am done with my second garden box and I think that may be the last one I can build with the wood in there I'm not sure I'll have to have another look at it but yeah what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to gather my tools and put them away and kind of plot out what I'm going to plot next, what I'm going to plant next. Anyway, that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.